Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, and in today's video we are going to be talking about the end of the Walking Dead universe, and the main reason we're talking about this in today's video is because I was reading an article from Screen Rant, and in the article it was just saying stuff about the reduced 2024 output, hints at AMC potentially winding down the Walking Dead, so they're saying that because 2024 is not like a super heavy big Walking Dead year with tons of content, they think that's a potential hint of AMC kind of just winding down on the Walking Dead universe. And I completely disagree with this, honestly. This is a really bad take, in my opinion. And the main reason why is just because, think about it. The Walking Dead original series ended in, what, October, November of 2022? And then, I believe in June of 2023, we had Dead City. And then September, we had Daryl Dixon. And then in February, we had The Ones Who Live. So from June to June, one year, we had three Walking Dead shows, right? From June of 23 to June of 24, one year, we had three Walking Dead shows. I don't necessarily think that that means like, anything bad at all. Like, yeah, 2024 might not be the biggest year, but I mean, in 2023, we only had two shows as well, right? We had Dead City and Daryl Dixon in 2023. In 2024, we had The Ones Who Live and Daryl Dixon. And I mean... Yeah, I don't think that that means anything at all. I completely disagree with this. I think it's a bad take, and I think there's a lot of stuff that's actually going to be announced soon with The Walking Dead. I think within the next year or so, we're going to have a lot of stuff, you know, big stuff announced. The future of Rick and Michonne. Um, obviously, we're going to see Daryl Dixon Season 2, and Carol and Daryl are going to link up and stuff like that, and we're going to, you know, figure out what's going on with that. Maybe Carol has some news about Rick, right? Who knows? There's going to be a lot of stuff that happens in Daryl Dixon Season 2 that's going to tell a lot about the trajectory of the Walking Dead universe. Every one of these spinoffs is very significant to that trajectory of the Walking Dead, to the future of the Walking Dead. So, I don't know, man. I just don't think that um, just because there's only two shows coming out in 2024, that means that... The Walking Dead is winding down. I just disagree. The format's changed, obviously. It's not like it used to be. They're not doing 16 episodes every year. Um, but, yeah, I, I just disagree with this. I don't really think that that's what's happening. So let me know your thoughts down below. What do you guys think about that? And it's kind of interesting, too, because there's like kind of another, a uh, little bit of a conflicting article on Screen Rant as well. And we'll talk about this very quickly, um, but yeah, practically they said shorter, higher quality spinoffs could be the future direction for keeping the franchise alive. And I completely agree with this. I think that the six to eight episode format is very, very good. I think you could stretch it to 10. I think if The Ones Who Live was 10 episodes, I think people would have liked it a little bit more. I don't think that it's a bad thing necessarily at all to have a little bit longer seasons i think six is i think six is honestly a little too short and i think that's probably why dead city is doing eight episodes in season two i think six just doesn't really seem like a show almost you know what i mean it just seems like it's a little bit too short i've always said in my opinion a perfect amount of episodes that i would have preferred for the walking dead you know i don't know i enjoyed the 16 episode format but i think like 10 to 12 would have been really, really awesome. I've always been a big fan of like 10 episode seasons. I don't know why, um, but I think 10 episode seasons would have been really, really awesome. So I think for the spinoffs, eight is really, really good. Eight to 10 would be awesome. Um, and we'll have to see what happens with Daryl Dixon. I don't think we know how many episodes season two is going to be of Daryl Dixon, but hopefully it's eight as well. Um, but yeah, let me know, man. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you guys think that AMC is winding down The Walking Dead? That's why there's only two shows, even though there was two shows last year. And from June of 23 to June of 24, we've had three Walking Dead shows. I don't think that's a sign of winding down at all. I just I think that's a terrible take. But um, let me know your thoughts down below. And also, what do you think about the shorter, higher quality spinoffs? How long do you guys think The Walking Dead can keep this up? How long will you guys watch? I want to know. Because a lot of you guys that are subscribed to my channel really enjoy The Walking Dead. You really love it. And... For me personally, I mean, the spinoffs have rejuvenated me as a fan, and I haven't felt this level of excitement in the Walking Dead universe probably since, like, the season 7, season 6 days, you know what I mean? Um, you know, Walking Dead season 9, 10, and 11, and 8, and stuff like that, it just it really didn't get me, like, that excited. I was really, really excited, but man, my hype for The Ones Who Live, man, I haven't felt that since, like, season 5 premiere. I mean, The Ones Who Live got me so hyped up, so, yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think about the spinoffs? What do you think about the future? How long are you guys going to watch? How long are you going to be into The Walking Dead? Because I'm kind of a four-lifer at this point. I think I'm a four-lifer, and hopefully you guys all are as well. We can be on this journey together, and I'll keep making videos, and you guys can keep watching, so, anyway... 
that's going to conclude the video, guys. I really appreciate all the love and all the support. Remember, if you want to see more Walking Dead content like this, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe. It really helps that channel grow so much more than you know. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Stay safe out there in the crazy world, man. Peace out.